and you can see the movement of the earth here very good folks and yes it's Bino here's your data for the day here's your auroral and as you can see to the plots to the right you know that just to begin with you know you're going to have some that we're moving. I'm going to go over to the right and slide down and look at it and basically you'll see that we are way off on the Antarctic or South Pole so let me go ahead and go to uh, here's your bow shock if we're going through space which affects our auroral and you'll see if we have some very wild activity that's us folks we're pretty much an eyeball going through space all the time it's a rotation of the earth there dark side of the earth and the sunlight side of the earth as we rotate and magnetically attach to the sun and we follow the sun and there you go with the wind the solar wind at uh, early 14 something because it got 15 36 hundred mark today and you can see right there we had a, a lot of activity more than likely that big wave we had there and then also the wave hits again here and here that's when we'll get these distortions that you see here as we're going through space a little wild than we normally do by just looking at the auroral and also at this imaging of our because that's our coronal out there that's our basically when we're talking about the CME reactive flares that you see the other planets do that would pretty much would be with the same stuff here that would do the CME reactive flares of what, what we got going on on Earth oh, that, that we see happening on other planets and would more than likely what we would look like if we when we probably do get a big CME it'd be nice to see some uh, satellite images of watching Earth when we were getting the electromagnetic static uh, over the last weekend and everything like that because I know Friday or so that we had that hit and it's Colorado showed it and the idea there was a lot of power transformers and a lot of breakers tripping on main feed substations so and IE we have the tail wag at the South Pole right now in our auroral there north is pretty much southeasterly and uh, there's some interesting video that uh, two minute news had for the sun that was a CME and basically solar wind temperatures up a little bit which is good uh, solar speed is pretty much steady and they say we're quiet right now normal and quiet uh, let's go down and see what we got going on on any discharge and basically looks like we're gonna have that CME is gonna end up hitting earth okay so we're gonna end up having some more trips on some main substations and Probably some transformers, Mike. If they got any weaknesses, they are probably going to get it. Uh, we have to watch your ionosphere, and basically what we would be doing. There's your other shot of basically us going through. Now, right now, we look pretty calm on this feed here, but that other data is fresh also. And there you can see the little bit of the wave action down here. And I'm probably going to go to world. And basically, electrical problems are going to be in these areas. But it's the same thing with to do with the quakes. It's going to be a thin layer in our atmosphere. And this would be more susceptible to catching a CME. Okay? Here and here. And any of the light colored areas. We got action from the Canadian graphs. Radius earthquake. It was pretty much last night, and then also the Mid Atlantic Ridge. And, and if, you go, if you watched, he called himself Three Minute News today because he's looked at a little bit more information. And the actual factual is the idea that Mid Atlantic Ridge is kind of unusual because it did swarm, and it's matching up. It's it's a little unusual because the idea that <clears throat> we have the Mariana Trench down there, and that's below the New Madrid, and we've had Puerto Rico going crazy for a long time. So basically, the quiet has to go away a little bit because we are starting to pick up a little activity. Let's see if we got anything cross-phasing or beginning to want to, and yes, we are. So we're just starting to cross-phase again. So the sun's going to be more than likely putting off uh, another CME, or that's probably showing when we had that CME that you will see of the footage if you go to uh, Three Minute News. Matter of fact, I'll try to throw it in here if I can. So we'll go down, and I think we may have the wind map. And like I say again, 
you're going to have a higher chance of catching uh, high power surges in this area and also the quakes. It's all electrical magnetical. magnetical. Electrical magnet, ladies and gentlemen. So very there, there. So basically, like I say, Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands is probably going to maybe even intensify a little bit or stay the same because you're, you've got the trappings of some not very stable ionospheric pressure. And on our quadrant map, you can see a lot of movement of the pole axis on the quadrant map. We were moving a lot in a year, very sizable amount. So here's some showering action off the Sun and the Supergiants on the 23rd. Almost looks like a fire hydrant, but that's all heat, magma, and you can see reaction here from one of the more than likely Venus or Mercury or just about anything here. Getting a CME reactive flare to the Sun's solar CME action there. This is from the 23rd. And as you can see, the last update they've had here is basically 10-1. So I'm going to see what I can find for that, if I can get that to play. And here we're going to get to see, and more than likely, it's probably been from a lot of uh, what they wanted us to see and so forth and so on. And So Neptune is featured in the vastness of these huge CMEs. And if you realize the size... We got the sun and the supergiants. Does not like the idea of massive Neptune, Uranus, and stuff like that. And the alignments that we have with the planets going on with the moon and Jupiter, I believe, right now, and so forth and so on. So we have a lot of wishy gushy. So we ha we have this from A. Let's go see what we got from B. We get some real wild action coming off of uh, the sun with these oppositions that we're getting and these alignments. And there's Jupiter. And as you can see, someone looks like Jupiter puts a big, big reactive flare. Can't really miss it because that's Jupiter doing that there. That's not the sun. I mean, this here is the sun. That's a CME that's coming off. This here right here, the big flame orama. But then watch what the Jupiter does that coronal mass ejection reaction flare from its atmosphere because basically you can almost see the magnetic of, of basically I'll try to freeze it a little bit too as that's coming you can see it pretty much smash into should be able to get I think I hit pause yeah I'll be able to try to freeze this here and there and then I'll hit play and play pause and then I'll just step back should be able to step back to that and there you go there's Jupiter like you'd normally see it and then you have a shadow behind it and basically Jupiter does I'll step back a little bit more because that is Jupiter right there and this is the Sun's and the supergiants connectivity of magnetism and blowing off a human humongous CME here we go we'll step back a little bit and as you see there's Jupiter in its shadow on the back side of it and we're basically taking that CME right back to and there's where the Jupiter did its reaction to that CME okay that static comes by and then I'll go forward and whammo you get the CME reactive flare from Jupiter off of that huge CME off the Sun and then we'll back this up pull it back to the Sun and there you go. That was that huge CME that comes off, and then Jupiter does its CME reactive flare to its atmosphere towards the sun's electrical static. Okay, and then here at this time, you have pretty much calm and nothing, but then that CME comes along, we get that action there. I want to go back and show you something. Back to the first footage I showed you, and basically, like I say, the one I think that uh, he shows from Soho is fresher, but you, you see this huge CME that comes off here up high off the sun, heads off way up behind Neptune and more than likely up towards Pluto and Uranus and so forth because that's our back door. That's Earth's back door. So that other CME actually seen over to the right and that's why I think you have Jupiter opposing the moon tonight or whatever. Australia, I get a good view. 
Uh, I wanted to show you that basically if you pay attention down here, uh, it's either Mercury, Venus, or something uh, is doing the CME reactive flare over here to the left, right below the numbers. Has this, the CME, you can see just a little flash right here. Watch, it'll flash. Either that or that's a planet that we don't know about right there. Okay, but you can match that up more than likely. Someone will be able to tell from looking at new, new Neptune in the position of the Sun and the Supergiants to the right uh, that we have a, a planet down there doing a CME reactive flare right by the H1 high 1A marking. Okay, you'll see it illuminate right there. Okay, I'll say it again when it comes up again and illuminate right there. See, illuminates right there. Okay, off of the huge CME action off the Sun right there. Nice far back shot. And you get the huge CME that even when the solar wind goes out here, it's almost like maybe another planet when you watch the footage. It's almost like something's doing a CME reactive flare to the static that's coming here, either that or it's just a wild flow of all that electrical magnet. As that comes up high and then I guess that whips back down from this going up way high and we don't get to see that and all of a sudden they cut back to the shot. You gotta watch the timer, but it's pretty wild action off the sun there. Pretty wild action off the sun. Here we are at Sechi. High 1A again. It's a head shot. And huge CME action also on the 30th. 9.30 I pulled up. And we'll go see what we got for action on 9.29. Kind of backlog through what they haven't wanted us to see this wild CME action. That you wasn't showing me the shots were basically I think what I did is I got I had my link compromise got backdoored by somebody more than likely not really backdoored just basically they uh, yeah, basically entered in my Wi-Fi area and messed with my links cloned my clone backdooring whatever you want to call it so because my link was messed up so I was able to refresh get the correct link and here we go. I was getting sent to a defunct site. So there's the action from the 29th. So it's fairly obvious that uh, the sun does not like having Neptune around the back door of Earth. So it's wild these defensive natural reactions that are basically going to be down to scientific fact of electrical magna, uh, the separation in the static cling of us, basically electrical magnetic track of us through space, because the sun sure seems to keep everything in alignment by putting off solar winds and electrical magna, to keep us locked on or pushed back to where we're supposed to be in our track through space. And as you can see, just before this CME right here, along with it, there's some wild streaks of a electrical magnet from way the hell out in space. Let's see if I can kind of freeze that and lock that when I'm seeing. I don't know if you're seeing the same thing when you watch the footage that I'm seeing, but I see that big scatter that's coming across. Let's see if I can... Uh, there, it was just there. Let's see if I can back up. Reverse. Reverse, I think I'll be backing up. No, nope, I'm going forward. So then we'll go back, and then maybe I can get it to show here what I'm talking about. There it was. So there's kind of a flash in between of... I don't think you can really freeze it to show it. You can see it when it's moving. It's like a big there. That's about it right there. There's a big, you see that big shift and rift? It's almost like a, a spatter or something from way out, and it's not the sun, it's like the sun, the supergiants. Because they're way larger, 74 times the size of the sun, way back there. And as I step, I should be able to step, step forward again. It's kind of like right about there. And I'll hit play and see if you can kind of, there it was. So... And that was in reverse, that CME going back. Now see if you can kind of see, there it is. And now watch, there it is again. You see that big scatter? So there's something hitting something out there in space. As you can see right 
wham, right there. You see that? I got it going backwards, but wham, there it is. And then.